What is going on everybody man, King Recon here for the anime adaptation of our beloved Onigashima Greatness, episode 1001, coming off of one of the greatest episodes I have ever seen last week. Let's see what this week has in store, man. We're officially in the four digits for the anime. Crazy, crazy stuff, man. I think we're back to the regular opening this week, right? I guess we're going to find out. Three, two, one. Let's jam. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah. Supposedly, we're supposed to be getting a new one soon. That's been the rumor going around. Yes, sir. That's been the the rumor going around that we're supposedly going to be getting a new opening. And I'm extremely excited for that, bro. I'm actually, before that new opening comes out, I want to do an openings tier list again. Um, even though I did one for like all the Shonen Jump series, or not the all the Shonen Jump, but the, for the big three. Uh, I want to do one specifically for One Piece. And I hope that I can find a tier list that has the We Are remake. I really, really do. But if I can, that is something that I would love to do. Either a tier list or like a ranking. Like ranking openings from least favorite to favorite opening. I think that would be a lot of fun to do before we get in a new opening. Considering we're next year is the 25th anniversary of the manga. It's about to be the 24th opening. That would be nice. So yeah, that's definitely something I'm interested in doing. It's just gonna be so crazy, you know. I feel like I've been I've been hearing over the top and dreaming on for so long. I'm, I'm genuinely looking forward to seeing what uh what the new opening could be. I and I are, I have a good idea, you know what I mean from a, a from a visual standpoint. But in terms of from like a song, like I I'm, I'm curious. I'm I'm going to assume it's gonna be upbeat in the same way over the top was upbeat and dreaming on is upbeat. Anytime we get no openings, it's always a good time. But man, you know, last week's episode, I can't even tell you the amount of times I rewatched that. With different scene, whether it be different scenes, the whole episode, the opening, whatever it is, man, it was constantly being replayed. And yo, I so so many of y'all uh, uh, let me know that that, that y'all got Yamato. You guys are goats, because that was <laughs> I was not so lucky. So shout out to y'all for being able to get Yamato. Yo, this scene with the scabbards, with Neko and Inu, oh, that was so goaded. So goaded. They were out here beaming around Jack. That was nasty. Got me extremely excited for what's to come. Yo, Neko, Neko and Inu look fresh. I love their designs. In uh excuse me, in Sulong State. This was peak. Last week's episode was so goat, bro. It truly was. I loved every second about it, man. Like from it being about the straw hats to the way they handled and executed it, the flashback sequences, that amazing overtaken walk. It was just peak, son. Peak. The old transitions, just so good. So good. Kink. Don't feel like we're gonna lose. Love that line so much, bro. It's cause you got to go with the coat with you. The legends all together. Yo, Jim Bay Singh, let's go, Captain. Are we, are we gonna see the goatness? This was such a goat theme. Hit me with it. Peak. 
so good. So good, dude. One of the greatest secrets ever. I'm a woke Kaido, dog. That's right. Amazing. This was such a great way to end last week's episode. I've, I've watched those theater reactions countless amount of times, man. Let's go. I don't mind the recap this week. That's how good last week's episode was. I don't even care. Don't even care about the length of the recap. Oof. Yes, sir. They're motivated. Is that what the go with the co is doing? And Drake's just observing. Up until now, he's been pretty quiet. Hawkins. Ah. Go. It's not a bad thing. Hawkins is always playing Yu-Gi-Oh, bro. I respect the grind, though. Most certainly respect the grind. Never got the news. It's amazing how long ago that was. <laughs> King, man. Look at that. They came down and immediately flexed. Like, yeah. <laughs> Green's hilarious, yo. I like that energy. I like that energy. If an enemy comes in, listen, it's light. That's it. They're done. I'm slicing them. the right soundtrack. One percent. That this certain man survives until tomorrow. Just one percent. Such a, it's like, it's like, Oh, that was dope. Ulti Sama. Black Money is just chilling.
Like a, like a hoo hoo. Yo. Peyton. So man, I didn't get this card either. Kaido's on the roof. Yo. Oh, snap. Not the three towers, not the classic. Every time I hear this soundtrack, I always think of Annie's Lobby. Everyone's getting a piece. The speed. The only wild bunch shoe and Fukuroku is just sitting there, like always. Hands. And he's just like, well, you know, it is what it is. I'm just chilling. Just chilling. The numbers. Thing is huge like Let's go! Zoro! Jinbei too? Let's get it! This man Zoro went whoosh. And Jimmy was like, hold up, I got it. I'll, I'll catch that thing. Oh, that's a great shot. Queen's a funny dude, bro. There we go. Who's who's like, I'm not even going to give you a rating. 
I'm not even going to acknowledge your performance. Exudrake. Eyes are everywhere. Ooh. Specifically the blood, like the, the spots. I mean like a paw. That's interesting. The art is really good this week. You know, I remember when that chapter came out and all of us kept thinking, what in the world is happening? Min Hawkins has a uh, pathetic, you know, um, pathetic. Whenever you raise your head, this man was looking down on him. Draco. Oh, I feel sorry for this number. In front of Zoro and Jinbei. That's an L if I've ever seen one. Whole squad ready to go. You better believe they're all strong. That's right. That was legendary. One of the most awesome fighting sequences just because of, of how unique it is, right? Like, you almost never had the crew fighting against one opponent like that. It was just really cool being able to see that. You know, like the tag team attacks, the combinations, everybody utilizing their strengths. Go! Ogi! Oh, Zen Sekai! Yo! Bazooka! It's legendary.
<laughs> Don't even try him. Don't even try. <laughs> Yo, this is filthy, dude. Yo, that transformation sequence was nasty. When he looked back, ah, oh, ooh, that was. And just the way that he was wielding him around too it reminded me of that one sequence in um, in episode nine seventy eight. Kobe, where he was like going, oh, the the momentum. The, I I love it. I love it. That was an amazing sequence. Full blown nade. He real deal fired a full blown nade and said, I'm out. I respect it. Gear fourth, dude. Oh, oh, those impact frames. Ah, oh, they did that justice from the manga, dude. Knocked his old tooth. Those numbers out of here. No, oh, bro, I have chills, bro. Not Edward Newgate's theme, bro. The Don out. I love this soundtrack, bro. He was like, who in the... <laughs> Yo! Dude! This week's episode looked fantastic. Fantastic from an art standpoint. They really handled the tension well with the who's who. Uh, X-Drake, uh, Hawkins, and Queen sequences. I gotta rewatch that um that part with... Whenever Luffy's being... Um, twirled around here by the number this this sequence was filth this, this transformation sequence was nasty so he's running he flies up on the hand so good look at the momentum dude gear fourth oh this is nasty look, look at how beast he looks bro nasty absolutely filthy transformation Which is such an interesting idea. I, I, I'm gonna have to talk about it. <laughs> Just goes right at him. Hold on, then I gotta go over here. Mm. 
Mm. Filthy. Yo, they did not need to go this hard for Drake and Luffy's caliber, but I'll take it. I'll take the caliber gun, bro, 100%. That was not, I, I like, my favorite part about it was just the momentum. Like, you could feel the impact of those two attacks. And the Luffy transformation, nasty. Absolutely filthy, dude. Man, see, this is, this is, this is the stuff I'm talking about, right? Like, when it comes to this arc and them just going ham for these ones. But then they put the Whitebeard soundtrack for Drake coming down, bro. And then he thinks back to Kobe, bro. goaded the juki dude i can't stop rewatching this scene mm. 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 filthy dude just filthy filthy man they excelled they went in, as they always do. They went in, man. Awesome, awesome stuff. Enjoyable episode this week for sure. Really enjoyed, like I said, the tension, the the sequences with Queen and Drake and and who's who. I had been waiting for them to to get to that stuff. I really, I was excited to see how they would handle it. Um, great art in that section, and then we got to this part. <laughs> Sweet flag darts, that was sick. Would be coming in the transformation sequence, the initial Gear Four transformation sequence. Super, super cool. Uh, the way that it like zoomed around as he came, it just it looked super cool. It like it was watching like a mech anime. It's like watching somebody transform. It was it was dope. And like and yeah, whenever he was like flipping him around, you had to see the the perspective of Luffy like running around in in the uh, across the uh, across like the inside of, those, uh, of that building. There it was it was great stuff. The caliber gun that was filthy, man. <laughs> Like, I had been wondering how they were going to handle it in the manga, or in the anime. I was not expecting them to give us that type of... That was, like, at the end of, like, a of a movie attack, man. Was, we're like, whoa, like, come on, man, come on. So, really nice stuff. Very, very, very good episode this week. 1001 Greatest, I'm telling you, man. The four digits, they never... They... they so far, you know, we're, we're two for two. We're two for two in the four digits. It feels like I, whenever I was reading the manga, I was like, ooh, four digits, something with bangers? It's to be expected. It's to be expected. But I will see y'all next week. Let me know what y'all thought about this week's episode in the comment section down below. Man, dude. They went in, man. They went in.